everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. I was finally able to uh, get out and do some thrifting this week. It's kind of been a while. And I did really good. Um, everywhere I went had something good and interesting. And it all seemed to be vintage dinnerware and a few other kitchen items. I hope you enjoy. Was really happy when I spotted these Anchor Hocking Fire King Milk Glass Salad Plates. They're seven and three eighths in the honeysuckle pattern. They have a decal on them. This is a decal right here. And they're all in fairly good condition. I'll show you all of them right here. There's no scratches on them. Most of the decal is intact. And they had a very short production date, um, 1959 to 1960 only. The mugs in this pattern are the hardest pieces to find and most valuable, therefore. And they also did make a um, make glass tumblers in the honeysuckle pattern, which I've never seen before, only um, online doing my research. And I'll be asking $20 for this set of four. Picked up this pretty little eight ounce creamer at the Goodwill, produced by Taylor Smith Taylor in 1958, and the pattern is blue lace. It's in the versatile shape. It's got a really pretty, like a very mid-century design right here. They're blue dandelions, and the inside is a really pretty turquoise color. It's trimmed in silver, and overall it is in beautiful condition. It's not marked on the bottom, and I think I'll be asking about $16 for it. I found this lone bowl, it's a good size bowl, at the Goodwill, and uh, it's in really great condition, but mostly I was intrigued by the back stamp, which you saw said Kala uh, GDR 79, GDR meaning the German Democrat Republic, uh, better known as East Germany. I've only found one other piece from East Germany in all my travels to the thrift store, so I did want to pick this up and find out a little bit more about it. I can tell you that Kala is the name of a town in Germany. And this porcelain company, Kala, was a state-owned company. It was actually founded in 1844. And after the fall of the wall, when East Germany became united again with West Germany in 1990, the company became a private company, but filed for bankruptcy and regrouped in 1994. The back stamp you saw before was used between uh, 1968 and 1987. <clears throat> excuse me and um, just a little side note which I'm sure you know that um, East Germany was Soviet occupied from 1949 to 1989 when it was reunified actually they signed the treaty in 1989 and I'm getting off track on this bowl I could not find the pattern name but most of Kala's designs or patterns were just numbers KH and a number I cannot find this one I think it's a decal I don't think it's hand painted, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. It might be hand painted. Beautiful bowl in really nice condition. It's a good size bowl at eight and a quarter by 375 high. And uh, I'll be asking $20 for it. Pick this up at one of my charitable thrift stores uh, for my own collection. It's Anchor Hocking Fire King in the Sapphire Blue Philby pattern. 1941 to 1956. It's one of the oldest uh, Fire King patterns. It's a one quart casserole missing its lid. A really nice raised pattern on the outside. As I said, it's for my own um, personal collection. I'd had the casserole with the lid before and I was showing it off to somebody, dropped it and shattered it. So now I'll just be on the lookout for the top. Um, you could pick these up fairly cheap on eBay for you know about $15, they're not all that expensive. They came in, um, in addition to the blue, jadeite, clear, and ivory. Of course, the jadeite being the most expensive piece. Really nice Goodwill find right here. It is a 1930s stainless steel and wood egg beater in a nice jadeite green kind of color wood handle right there. Produced by the Edlin Company out of Burlington, Vermont. Been in business since 1925, still in business. Founded by Henry Edlund. 
and now they are an industry leader in commercial can openers, weight scales, um, other stainless steel products. The company did go totally commercial in 1973. This is in really nice working condition, smooth as can be. And I know a lot of people collect egg beaters. I see people decorate their kitchens with them, put them on the walls and whatnot. And I'll be asking $20 for this one. Goodwill on Monday, I found nothing. Went back on Tuesday and they just had lots of goodies. So you just, just have to keep going out there. That being said, I picked up this seven inch Pyrex C in store canister. It's got a um, plastic lid. You can tell that's the C in store line right there by the lid. It's glass here, really nice condition. Excuse me. It's in the autumn harvest pattern. It's a wheat pattern, obviously. You can see that right there. Produced between 1979 and 1986. Um, Pyrex did release a promo piece in 78, simply called wheat. Same pattern as this though, and that was an oval casserole set. Autumn harvest, just just for your information, was the last opalware pattern to produce Fridgy dishes. And let's see, I'll be asking $15 for it. Should do it. I found a lot of Anchor Hocking Ruby Charm dinnerware at the Goodwill. Uh, that's always exciting to find charm. I don't see it out there all that much, and especially not at the Goodwill. Produced between 1950 and 1956. A Royal Ruby is actually the patented name for all of Anchor Hocking's red um, dinnerware, and this is no exception. Charm was the factory name um, given to it, but if you, if you find it with the original labels, it will simply say Royal Ruby. Patented in 1938, um, Royal Ruby. These charm plates date between 1950 and 1956. I picked up, let's see, so how many plates? I picked up eight of these uh, lunch plates. They're eight and a half. I'm gonna be selling them off in lots of four. They're all in really nice shape. Pick these up, lots of four for about $16. Um, I also picked up a really nice berry or salad bowl set right here. The bowl itself, the berry, the large bowl is seven and a half. It does have a very, very, very minor chip right here on the inside rim. Um, but I did pick it up anyways, because it's hard to find the set and six matching four and a quarter inch bowls right here. These smaller bowls are beautiful, absolutely perfect condition. And let's see, I'll be asking, I think $48 for the bowl set because they're kind of hard to find. And as I said, the luncheon plates be selling them off in lots of four. Another exciting find for me as I have never found any Anchor Hocking Fire King ivory swirl in the sunrise pattern before. I have four nine inch dinner plates right here, all in really nice condition and the red trim around it, it's all in pretty really good condition. 1951 to 1953 production dates. They, um, like the other anchor hawking, like the Ruby Charm, they're called ivory swirl sunrise, but if you were to find them with the original labels, they would simply say ivory or ivory swirl, not the sunrise, that was the factory name. I also picked up, oh, I'll be selling a, a set of four for, I think $40 in really nice condition. Uh, they're good sellers, not that easy to find. I also did pick up this wonderful 12 inch platter, again, in really, really nice condition. And I'll be asking, I think, what do I have here? $35 for the platter. going to end the video here with um, my favorite find of the haul, certainly my most exciting one. I uh, went to the Goodwill and you know you go in sometimes into a thrift store and you see something in the distance and you're walking to it going, is that really what I think it is? And in this case it really was what I thought it was. These are JAJ Pirates, that means they were made in England. The pattern is called Chelsea. They are um, nine and three quarter inch dinner plates in really nice condition produced between 1967 and 1978. As I said, J.A.J. Pyrex is from England. J.A.J. Uh, stands for James A. Jobling. He took over the Flint Glassworks in Sunderland, UK in 1885. In 1973, the Jobling's company um, license expired 
and Corning took control of the company, but the company acquired the rights to produce Pyrex back in 1921. And JHA Pyrex, um, there's just so many nice patterns uh, to collect and find. And I'll be asking $25 for the four dinner plates. Thanks as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed the haul. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment and we'll see you real soon. Bye. Ohio in 18, um, oh, are you kidding me there, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, we are, um, an industry, an industry, an industry, <clears throat>